Hi, my name is Kavita Sharma and I'm here to start off a productivity series. Have you seen people presenting PowerPoint, really bad PowerPoint? And you are wondering, what do you want to do? Why are you talking And all those kind of thoughts. So today, I'm here to make you much more effective, presenting your thoughts better uh, using PowerPoint. So first series is PowerPoint. Let's get started. Have you prepared such kind of PPTs? Now, um, this is one PPT which I get. Do you want to turn it something like this? Either this or this. So today I'm going to talk about how do we make beautiful PPTs which reflect the, the theme, which reflect what you want to convey to people. So let's get started with the first thing, um, the PowerPoint. So let me move back here. Now this data you can get from, um, you know, you have PPTs if you want to generate the content for any type of PPT. One, you should have that. And second, um, you can use ChatGPT or any other AI tool or use your boss to get the information. Once you have the information, you can copy and paste this information. Let's look at the views here. So there are different type of views. The first one is called normal, the one which I'm right now looking at. Um, then there is something called outline view. This view gonna help you copy and paste and so on. So if I need to, let's say, you know, this is really bad. I need to make, instead of slide four, I need to write KPM services and so on. So you can make the edits faster here so um, these are the edits here and let me come back and show it to you this is something which is the slide a um, lot of text anyway this is the text you have seen and then um, then there is something called slide sorter view where are these views coming from you need to go to the menu and click on view slide sort of view you can move the slide from um you know navigation so you can move slide number seven to four and so on um this is for a quick reference quick view this is the zoom button if you want to see what's the text and if you just want to zoom out then you know gonna go this is the notes view in case you want to add some notes to the slide you can write this is note one and so on if you go to normal you won't see the notes if you show it to your you know uh, audiences the audience gonna see it um, the slide but you if you are using two um, you know two monitors then you should be able to see the notes um, let me show it to you. Set up slide show and it has to be done on a window. So this is the um, this is something which your audience gonna see. So this is all about view. Um, I'm gonna go back to normal. This is outline as I told you. Slide sorter, notes, and reading view, which is you know a PPS or slideshow. So coming back, let's go to normal. There is something called design layout. So if you want only the title slide, this is how the design is, wherein you would have some text here and sub subtitle. This one is of title and content, and these are by default available with all the um, design templates. Most of the time we use these two. Sometimes we need to compare, then we have, or, you know, some other layout like compare or two content. This is comparison, only title, and then you have blank and some, some data with picture and so on. You can have full picture as well. But these are the basics to begin with. And generally we use 80% of the time title and content. Now one way to um, just you know change the design is go to design 
and you would have different templates or design templates available. So let's say I choose to go dramatic, I click on this. Now this is the first thing we're going to see that, you know, your template is changed. This is a good thing. Now you have a good template. Um, if you like this, this is nice. If you don't like it, you can change to a different template. Automatically, a new color scheme and everything gonna come. Um, you can change the colors also. So if within a template you want to change the colors, there are different colors which are available. So if you look at design, then there are different templates which are available. Red color, for example, you would have other templates available. Um, this is another one, this is another one, and so on. So I'm just going to pick this one too. I like this font. I generally like this. In fact, I like this also for a presentation perspective because this will give a very nice and minimal presentation. You can, if I want to change the colors, I can go ahead and change the colors here. This is good color. I like this one also. So let me work with the red color. Now, the second thing which you would want to do is, um, these are the headers you have got here. Now, if you want, there's something called PowerPoint has come out with something called Smart Art. Now, if I want this to be changed to a Smart Art, click on this, select the one which you like. Select the one which is going to show you the kind of Smart Art you would want to have for this. So, um, to begin with, let me select this type. Now, it shows, you know, what are the PM services. However, I don't have so many PM services. I have first one called Project Initiation, and then these are the sub -part. So what I do is I'll click on either tab here, tab here, tab here. Second is this, tab, tab, tab. It was because of copying and pasting from ChatGPT. I have to ensure that these are grouped well. So just ensure that you have main content and then the subcontent. Project closure and the main content. And these are the subcontent. Now, this is this is looking pretty nice. These are the key services which we you may want to change the text here, phases or etc. And if I want to, this is for smart art. If I want to change the color scheme, understand the color scheme comes from the theme. So you can look at the predefined theme and change the color scheme. I like this color. Or you can change the colors to something which you like, um, whatever you prefer. So coming back, this is the one which I like. I keep it like this. If you want to represent this data into a different format, then there are other formats. I have selected this. You can select other formats here. You can select this format. It shows the data in a other context. Try and show, try and see which one makes sense for you. Um, if you like, maybe this one. Um, whatever you like. This is also nice. So you can choose and select which smart art works for you. Show it. This is how your audience is going to see it. If you still want to go ahead and change it, you can darken, you can bold certain text here. Um, you can delete certain context here so that it becomes bigger. So this is one. Um, you can buy project services. These are three. Again, I'm just going to go to Smart Art. Click on Convert to Smart Art. Select the one which you like. If I want to, maybe this is the one which I like. And use some kind of pictures, efficient uh, 
plan and then decision making. One to three is also nice. Um, change the colors, whatever colors you would want them to have. You can use uh, this one. You can. This is also very nice. So um, again, you can have pictures here. In slide, if you see, um, this is in the layout mode, which is title and content. What I'll, um, what I would want to show you is, if you are using the latest version of uh, PowerPoint, then you would see another menu item called Designer. Now click on this, and then automatically, if you see here, you would start getting different options for example you may like this you may not like this and so on so this is see the powerpoint designer has automatically changed the slide um, if you go on top come back the designer again gonna it's an ai tool it's gonna generate the ideas for you again so you can change Whichever one you like, you can see. See, one, two, three. This is something which I would really like. This is, you know, these are the services which I'm going to provide. And just gives you one, two, three, and these are the services. So you can use the designer tool as well. Um, so in nutshell, what I've shown you today is um, I shown you how to work with something called view. You would have normal view, the one which we are seeing, outline view, wherein we can copy and paste the data from slide sorter, move the slide from one place to another, and you are done with uh, notes, wherein you can take the notes, and reading view is the slide show view. Um, you need to click on escape to come back. Normal is the one which we work with. Mm -hmm. This is this is the zoom window you can zoom in zoom out whatever you want to do and then um, use something called smart art go to smart art design and keep on changing the you know whatever context you would like to work with smart art works with the data which is tabulated okay the one which has some kind of indentation or tabs um, so you can have data which is sub part of some data this is how you manipulate tabs here um, and you can move down or up or if you want you can just you know copy and paste and control c control v so um, use that and the last thing which i shown you was um, the once we are on a slide we can something we can work with this menu item called designer and designer gonna make your slide perfect um i like this designer so here you would have different ways of ensuring that your slide looks better. The only uh, thing of caution which I want to tell you is select your um, select your brand colors. They would look good. If you want, you can have master slide with your branding slides and then just change with the, you know, smart art. That, that's going to make it seamless, very nice. Um, in the next presentation, which I'm going to show you later, I will show you how to work with master slide so that you can put your company's logo, your company's branding as part of constant reminder that you we are working with a company. So each company, each slide would have a logo, um, some kind of color schemes and no see these three three slide doesn't look similar and that's the problem if you work with designer too much it won't look similar you know it may change see this here if i select this i like this also but then um things keep on changing so make sure with the next video i'm gonna show you the you know how to work with the branding working with master slides 
and making sure that your slides tells the same story. That's pretty much it today for today. Um, work with your slides. I'm sure you, most of you have branding uh, slides from your company. Um, so start working, at least making your slides better. I hope you would have gained something today. In case you like the video, please uh, click on the like button. In case you want me to prepare some other type of video, please do write to me so that I can prepare the videos accordingly. Um, your feedback helps a lot. So do write to me or write comment. I look forward for that. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.